on to question number three. So how much energy does the electron have initially in the n equals 4 excited state? Um, so it looks like this person answered it already, but I'm still going to go over the question uh, just to see how they got this answer. So I'm assuming this is 1.36 times 10 to the negative 19. Part B asks, what is the change in energy if the electron from part A now drops to the ground state? So again, I'll just uh, go over how they got that answer. And then part C, what is the wavelength of the photon that has been released in part B? So I'm guessing this is the, the part of the question that they actually needed help with. Okay, so on to 3A. How much energy does the electron have initially in the n equals 4 excited state? Uh, so I'm going to use this equation here, where E uh, is equal to the energy equals RHC over n squared. So R is Rydberg's constant. H is Planck's. C is the speed of light. So these are all just constants. And then N is equal to 4 for this question. So this is the excited state. Then all you have to do is plug in all of those values. So R is equal to one point zero seven. times 10, 7 inverse meters is multiplied by Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times seconds. Speed of light, easy to remember, is 3 times 10 to the 8. meters per second. All of that over 4 squared. Okay, so you have to be careful with constants sometimes because sometimes in formula sheets they give you the constant with different units. Uh, so for the ones that I inputted, I, I made sure that these were all the correct units. And a way to check is to see if it all cancels out properly in the end. So we want our energy to be in joules. So our meters will cancel out. And our seconds will cancel out. And then we're left with an energy value of negative 1.363 times 10 to the negative 9. Joules. Just the same thing person got there. Okay, so the second part asks what is the change in energy if the electron from part A now drops to the ground state? So this means that used to be n equals 4. So this is our initial and n final is equal to 1 which is ground state. Uh, so now I'm going to use this equation right here which calculates the change in energy is equal to the same constants 
R H C. And then in brackets, you have 1n squared of your final minus 1 over n squared of your initial energy states. Okay, so again, I'm just going to plug in all these values. space. And then all of this is multiplied by 1 over square minus 1 or squared. And after plugging all of this into your calculator, uh, since this is the delta e, I'm only looking of the I'm looking at the value that I get. Um, so even though it's like a negative value, the answer we want to put in is just that uh, the value itself. I'm just going to say 2.04 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. And you also want to be careful when you plug in large equations like this in your calculator. Um, I've seen a lot of people that uh, would not put their exponents in brackets or they would just do, yeah, like you have to put brackets around everything to make sure that you have the proper value in the end. Okay, so now we're on to C. What is the wavelength of the photon that has been released in part B? This is actually fairly easy as well. You have delta E is equal hc over lambda and then we just plug in everything that we know so delta e is what we calculated above 2.04 times 10 to the negative 18 joules is equal to Planck's constant which is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times seconds speed of light three times ten to the eight meters per second all of that is over lambda which is what we're trying to solve for you fit it at the bottom here lambda ends up being nine point six nine times ten to the negative eight uh, question asks express your answers in meters, but I'm still going to write da this down in uh, nanometers. So this would be 96.9 nanometers. So this is the amount of energy that will be released as a photon. Okay, so let's see this answer here. For part A, yep, they got negative 1.36 times 10 to the negative 19. RB change in energies 2.04 times 10 to the negative 18. So they did it a different way, but you can. Okay, yeah, so they calculated their energies separately and then after looked at the difference between the two. And then Lastly, the amount of energy released as a photon, 
Yep, so it's pretty much the same. Some significant figure difference, but that just depends on how many sig figs you put or uh, constants. Okay, so this solution is correct. Thank <laughs> you.